Hi friends, welcome to my kitchen. If you're new here, my name is Stephanie and today I'm making spicy Asian cabbage rolls. This is Ginger Snap Kitchen. I started by making the sauce. To a saucepan, I added one and a half cups of water, three ounces of tomato paste, about half a can, a quarter cup of soy sauce, three tablespoons of hoisin sauce, three tablespoons of brown sugar, one tablespoon of rice vinegar, one tablespoon of sriracha sauce, four cloves of minced garlic, one tablespoon of minced ginger, and two tablespoons of cornstarch. I whisked everything together until the cornstarch was dissolved. Then I brought it to a boil. Then I reduced the heat and simmered it until it was thickened. That was about three minutes. I removed about a quarter cup of the sauce and then set the rest aside to cool. Next, I cooked 12 cabbage leaves in boiling salted water. I boiled them three at a time for about two minutes until they were pliable. Then I removed them from the boiling water and placed them on a clean kitchen towel. While those were cooling, I cooked a 12 ounce bag of broccoli slaw in the same boiling water. I cooked it for just a moment to allow it to soften and make it easier to roll in the cabbage leaves. Then I rinsed it under cold running water to cool it and let it drain. After that, I added it to a large mixing bowl along with one pound of ground beef, one cup of cooked brown rice, five chopped scallions, four cloves of minced garlic, one tablespoon of minced ginger, a quarter cup of soy sauce, one large egg, and the reserved sauce. Then I mixed everything together. After that, I cut the large vein out of each leaf of cabbage and placed a small portion of the filling into each one. I slowed this down a little so you can see how I did it. Once they were rolled, I placed them into a greased baking dish. Next, I cover the rolls with the sauce. Then I cover the pan with foil and place them in a 400 degree oven for about 50 minutes. Once they reach 165 degrees, I remove them from the oven and allowed them to rest for about five minutes. I spoon the sauce from the baking dish over each roll. Then I garnish them with chopped scallions and sesame seeds. And I ate one standing up at the counter because I'm so classy. It was delicious. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.